What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are in the middle of San Antonio, Texas to do a little urban fishing. We're at a park that's like 120 years old. It's like 450 acres. There's a train station up there where they're riding around trains. There's a zoo back in there. But I think this water is gonna hold some bass, some panfish, I have no idea what. And I'm gonna go fishing first off with the little bitty jerk bait that I've got here. But this water's a little stained, you notice. I think they use this water for parts of the zoo, so this might be some nasty poop water, but I don't want to think of it that way, but there might be some good fishing here, so let's go fishing. All right, this is a good spot up in this current. Let's see if there's anything kind of sitting down there on the bottom of it. Man, this water looks super stained. Just enough for this little jerk bait, but Figured something would come up and just pop it. Well, we switched over to this little 1 8 ounce silver bladed uh, rooster tail here to see if maybe these fish would react on this. They didn't seem to want that jerk bait. So let's see what happens. Oh, we had a hit. They're actually hitting it. Got one, got something. What we got here? Is this a red breast? Look at that, as soon as we switch up, we catch one. Red breast, I believe. Yeah. All right, I came way upstream of where I was at and the water completely changed colors. It's a little bit more clear, still a little stained. But there's cool old, I think, industrial building right there. It's like an old mill or something, but I'm actually seeing fish down through here. But there are literally ducks and these water birds all over the place. So I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can catch anything in here. They just big minnows? Oh, I just had something right there. Or oh, some bass. Some bass cruising. Let's throw it right in front of them, see what happens. It's a little more life up here than where we were at down there. Let's see if we can get it out there to those bass. Got something good right there. Oh my gosh, is that a cichlid? Oh, this has to be the biggest cichlid I have ever caught. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing. That has to be a record. Oh my gosh. Come here, buddy. Wow, whoa, come on up here. Oh, oh my, look at the head on that thing. Good. How do I grab him? Big old thing. Come here, buddy. I don't even know how to unhook you. I'm gonna have to use both hands on this guy. Man, he got that. Let's see if we can handle this dude. No, stop, stop, stop. Cool, look at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh. 
The thing is massive. That has got to be a record. I don't have a scale or anything either. That is so cool. Let's let him go. Oh, cichlid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. God. That was a big one. Oh, I got, oh, what did I get? A little bass. Awesome. Oh, oh, buddy. Sorry about that. All right, let's see if we can catch something else. Ooh, there's some grass beds. It's getting good down in here, looks like. Liking what I'm seeing so far. A little bit of current, clearer water, grass beds. Oh, we got a good something right there. I think that's a bass. Came right off that little grass patch. Little bass. Nonetheless, we caught one. Just a little guy. Man, thanks buddy. Well, I made it back down to the falls where I started. See if I can catch some more fish. It's just not happening upstream in here. See if anything will smack this rooster tail. bass down there big old bass that was like a three pounder at least stay back over here there's so many fish down in there oh got us a cichlid kept flying out nice good size cichlid I'm gonna put him right over here because they flop and they Yeah. See if I can stay back. There are so many fish down in there and I think I spook them once I get up close. Well, we didn't necessarily just tear them up out here, but we did catch a couple good ones. And I think I probably broke the San Antonio River real grand cichlid record. I am not sure, but that thing was monstrous. A pound and a half, I don't, I don't know how big that thing was. I didn't weigh it, I didn't take any lengths, nothing, but it was a big one. But I had tons of fun out here fishing this little place. I think it's highly pressured, so it's kind of tough. The bass and the panfish are really finicky, but there's a lot of fish that are in here. And they may be catchable, but today it's hot, and it may be just one of those days, but thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.